Mike. And I'm Angela. And, and this, this is, is NF Geeks. Geeks. All right. So continuing our ENFP extravaganza. Um, so I have one issue I want to talk about that ENFPs have a hard time with, and I certainly have a hard time with this, and that is um, leaving or letting go of a relationship. And it could be any kind of relationship. But obviously romantic is very important. But it could be like friendships, work relationships, a workplace. Um, that ENFPs are sort of notorious for, um, I'll use the metaphor because we're NFs, of missing their exit. Okay? <laughs> that there's a moment where they should have got off the relationship highway. There was an exit. They yeah. missed that. They went way down the highway. <laughs> and then they realized, I should have got off this road about four exits ago. Mm -hmm. But now I'm... Now I don't even know what to do. How do I even get back to that exit? Or do I get off here or whatever? And, but to be more specific, that we will stay in a relationship, again, not just romantic, friends, work, school, we will stay in a relationship with someone long after it's run its course. And that, um, you know, long after we, when we should have gotten out or, mm -hmm. when, you know, but that we didn't want to bail or whatever reason. So first of all, how do you feel about that? How does that connect with you? How does that seem to you? Can you think of something specific? Well, it definitely, it definitely, I can see that working with me. I have a lot of issues with kind of getting out issues. of situations. Oh yeah, issues. Okay. Issues. Trying to get out of certain situations where I find myself almost to a point where I'm getting anxiety over, oh my God, how do I deal with this? What am I going to do? And even to a point where I can think of especially just in one particular instance, I was in a relationship for six and a half years. <laughs> Okay, and how old are you? Uh, I'm 22. 22. So think of like <laughs> so six all and a half years. So high school and middle school all the way through. Wow. On and off and couldn't just clip that cord and get away. And even to a point where the last two, two or three years, I really wanted to get away, but I just couldn't. And like you said, I felt like I missed my my moment of being able to exit right. gracefully. And then to the point it's, the only way I'm going to get out now is to crawl out the window and land on my face in a pile of mud. Right. That's very, see, that's very ENFP. <laughs> All right, so I have two hypotheses about this, and I want you to comment on Okay. Um, the first one has to do with NFs. I, I, I kind of think that all the NFs are bad at this to some degree. Um SPs are the best. SPs can let go of something right away because they're always living in the present anyway. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they never hold on too tightly. So they, they're fine. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're able to let go of the best. I think we're the worst. And I think ENFPs are at the bottom of that. And that makes us the worst of the 16. Okay? So we're really bad. Out of all the NFs are superior. And, and all the NFs suck at this. So uh -huh. think of how much we suck at this. Oh, now I think NFs suck in general because NFs have a deep emotional connection to everything, to people, to places, to nature, to ideas, to poetry. No, everything has this deep emotional connection. So it's very hard to leave a person, a place, abandon an idea. You know what I mean? Like these, because we're deeply, deeply connected mm -hmm. to all these things. And it's all interwoven. So I don't know if you had this experience where like you won't go someplace because you had a deep relation with a person and you went to that place and now that place is the sort of you know what I mean? It's connected yeah. to that person, so you're not going to go there because yeah. you don't want to relive the trauma. Or just, you know, it's too deep, it's too sad. Yeah. So what do you? So first of all, how do you feel about that? That's the NF theory. I, I, I do agree with that theory. I definitely feel like that, that kind of goes through with me and I can feel that way. It, it's almost like, like you said, it's almost like places and, or even songs, food, Oh yeah, smells. songs. Uh, yes, all the senses. Where yes. the ENFPs are the ones that will cry because a song on the radio came on and oh, I used to listen to this with him and every or her or whatever. Yeah, and we're those people and outwardly expressing it. The INFPs, oh, yeah. I think, feel that too, but it's all going no, on. No, we'll be at the stoplight. If you look over into your car next to you and there's a guy crying at the steering wheel while he's listening to the radio, he's an ENFP. Yeah, but I don't he, even get there. I shut it off. <laughs> I used to, but then now I'm older, like, I'm not even going No, there. you don't even go there with yeah. it. But we're not, you know, it, that, that comes along with experience. So but I feel it, like... Yeah, wounds. That definitely happens where almost, like, places are, they're, like, flagged in your mind. Where right. as soon as that stuff, even, even thinking about those things will get into your head and you're like, oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. It just needs to go away and you have to push it out. 
but it also I agree with you in the fact where it's a same thing where like a lot of people that I know they're ENFPs have stayed you know like even oh, just, yeah. even just in our area how many people have lived here their whole lives sure. you know they all go to the same schools we all grow up together we all you know stay in the same area we all buy houses here and it seems like nobody leaves except for those couple of rogue people who finally are able to you know cut the cord and get out sure. and I feel like maybe we don't have that ability as much. And it's not because we don't have the strength to get out because we could if we really, really wanted to and that was in our brain and we said we're going to get out. But otherwise it's, oh, you know, my family's here. I would hurt people by leaving or things like that. And that almost kind of sticks you and then you're mm. stuck. Sure. All right, then that may relate to the second point that's specific to us and why we suck at this more than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Is that... um ENFPs are notorious for thinking two things about a relationship. One is, um, this is unfixable, so I am bailing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> or um, but it, 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 even with that, there's this other one where is that there's something more I could be doing. This is why we hang on to relationships. If I just we're always trying to tweak it. If I if I just did this, if I just did that, if I stood on my head and spit nickels, if I you know if I if I waited for the stars to align, you know, there's always like managing that. If I, if I just hang in there and I press those buttons and it's like PlayStation, oh square square triangle triangle left right left yeah. right. Oh no, it's left 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 right right triangle triangle. You know, if we just think that we'll make it, and even when we bail. There's a part of us, and whatever the relationship is, there's a part of us that's still like, ah, oh, why didn't I? If I only did this, if I only did that, yep. why couldn't I do this that way? Like, so that's why we stay in it, because we sort of think that if I had just worked this a little differently, or if I just knew something, or if I just had something, I could have made it. And that's why we're staying in the relationship so long, because we're thinking, if I just, you know, maybe if I just turn this wheel a different way, mm -hmm. I'll lock in. So... Yeah. Does that feel right to you? Can you? Do you have experiences that connect to that? Absolutely. And even, even in those situations where I feel like I have gotten out of it, I'm still at the point where I'm like, oh, you know, almost like, oh, maybe I should have just stayed. And even after you, even after I spent all that time saying I need to get out, I need to get out, I need to get out. Once I get out, then I'm like, oh, I should have gone. I should, right. Maybe I should go back in. And maybe I should the, go right. back. And here's that's the pers the perceiving function because what's crazy is that ENFPs and this is probably true with the other NFs but ENFPs know we're very conscious it's not working because we know what the other person's thinking mm -hmm. because we're in their heads and we can do that because yep. the NF so we know that they really don't like us the way we want them to or they're not capable of doing what we really need them to do for us. like we know we're not early on we know but we're still like no if I just you know if I just maneuver it if I just find the switches I can you know Control all delete. Oh, yeah. get there. Yeah. You know. Task if you get if you had your own task manager, you could do it that way. <laughs> right. Yeah. What um all right, so I'd like you to how can you relate this to the relationship you were speaking to uh, about? Because you obviously you started dating when you were a fetus or something. <laughs> went on no. fetal love. That's right. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, definitely. but all right, but is there a point in that six and a half years where this where you had this experience that we're talking about? Um, well, definitely my emotional situation was, oh, I love him, or no, I don't, or, oh, he's such a jerk, or, you know, maybe he's just mad, or maybe it's something I did. That's a big thing, was maybe it's something I did. Maybe it's my fault. Sure. Maybe it's... And if I had only done this other thing, this would have went this other direction. Yeah. If I'd only yeah. had this, or if I'd only done that, or if I had only said something about this situation, maybe it would have fixed it. And even at the end, when I finally broke it off, it was... Even as I was walking away, it was, uh, maybe all I have to do is turn around and I can fix this. There's a way I oh, can fix yeah. this. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. ENFPs. That's great that you said that. ENFPs will go back if in the middle of the breakup. Once they've kind of like moved on to another pasture, we're in another place. But as the, as the breakup is sort of occurring or whatever, we'll sway. You can oh, sway yeah. us. We'll jump back in. Yeah. Yes. The other types don't do that, and that's tough. Like, the J's never will. Like, if no. you, once a J is out. No. INFJs are like that. Once they're out, they're out. They're done. But, that, but as the as the things are crumbling, we'll waffle, and we'll be like, no, we'll, uh, you want to come back? We'll try again? Do you want to, yeah, yeah. you know? It's also, it's also the, oh, I can change. Yes, I can see how maybe you could change. Yes. So I'll give you that chance. Yes. Or, you know, we're Or we're reverse. I could change. Look, I'm adaptable. Yeah. I can, you know, you want me to juggle? I'll learn. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, is that what you need? Juggling? Okay. I'll take a lesson. Yeah. I, I can definitely see that, though, is that, and a lot of it has to do with the emotional need where we almost feel like because we're so just emotionally explosive all over the place, it's almost like there's also a little part of you that says, I can only get this kind of emotional connection with this one person or this one situation or in this one, you know, job, let's say a job. You know, even though you know that it's not working, and when we're ENFPs, we know when something's not working. We know when we're not happy. But in the other, in the other thing, it's well, I'm important, or I'm useful, or they really need right. me. If not that's my exit. But if I just drive a few miles more, you know, we'll get to the you know Emerald City. You know, if I, I just have to keep driving. Yeah. You know, we'll make it. Right. Mm. That never is the is the case though. No. Um. Now, why do you think this is, though? What What is it about us that keeps causing this? Like, I think, okay, so my theory is that it's the perceiving function. That there's, that when things are going bad, there's a part of us that thinks, well, you know what, it's improbable, but maybe if the stars align, I could, you know. I think it's because we're open-minded like that, that it leads to thoughts that are unrealistic. I definitely agree with that. I agree with the thesis as that, that it's the... That it's the perceiving part of us only because when I when I'm perceiving a situation, I'm going six different directions. I can definitely I def definitely have that explosive view where there's six different pieces to the one idea. So I'm seeing it from this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and this one way back here. You know, so and maybe even going back to a job situation where I've had a job that sure. I hated 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 right. was miserable hated every day of my life yes but it was well i'm doing a good job at helping with everything or everybody likes me there or i like everybody there and maybe if i go to another job people aren't going to like me maybe if i go to another job i'm not going to like people you know what if i hate the next job more than i hate this mm. one what if you know i should be i know i should be thinking about money but money's really not my objective or, you know, maybe I should be trying to have a job that's 10 minutes away instead of an hour and a half away. Mm. And all that stuff tends to go in our heads. And I feel like maybe that's why we're so all over the place, so to speak, because yep. we have all these different ideas. And with every idea, there's another six ideas that go with that one idea. So that's how we end up with a full brain of sure. everything. And I'm glad you brought up work because it's not just... Obviously, we're talking about romantic relationships, mm -hmm. but it's not just that. Uh, any other kind of human network we do this with. Mm -hmm. Staying in jobs, long past you should. Staying in friendships, long past you should. Thinking, no, if I just call them, they'll come yep. around. You know, um, it's not... So it's all human relationships we do this in, not just the romantic ones. The romantic mm -hmm. ones have the largest impact. Especially because now i got to bring some trauma in. If you take in the slutty aspect... Yeah. Of ENFP. Mm, yeah, and all of the ENFPs are cre cringing. <laughs> but there's this idea that, well, you know, maybe if we spend the night together, it'll all come back and yeah. the romance will, you know, right? The ENFPs oh, yeah. are like that. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're good for that. And especially oh, yeah, from, <laughs> especially when it's like, I've always know, done that. Oh, I, I, I believe that it was fate that I ran into this person that I used to date four years ago. So maybe if we just bring that spark back, right. we'll, it'll oh. all come back together. And in reality, it's just, no, we're just in easy life. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> That's right. We are, you know, if I just, maybe if I, you know, stood on my head and we, you know. Yeah. Maybe if I turn the lights on while we do this, that'll make the spark. You're right. We're always t yeah. tweaking it, you know, trying to make it happen. And mm -hmm. even that, like, that's interesting because that's also an ENFP. Even sexually, we're trying to tweak it. We're always like, you know what? If I did this, I did that. We go this way. We go that way. We're always trying to work it, mm -hmm. you know, and even if it's wrong, even when it's wrong and it's not connecting. Exactly. And, I, and even when it's with us where we know what we want, but at the same time, we're always thinking, how can I change what I'm doing to appease the <laughs> yeah. other person? Yes. Even if it's not yes. what we want to do. And that's the same thing. Is right. Even when it's and something we don't want to be doing in right. any situation. We're talking about relationships or whatever. In all situations. In, in any and all situations, even though in our minds we know what we want, we're still on the other side thinking about what the other person or people want. Right. And that makes it kind of blow up in our face almost a lot of the times a lot of stuff i feel like a lot of the times a lot of my plans blow up in my face mm. so we have to learn to get off at our right exit mm -hmm. that's the lesson for enfps yep. all right well great all right good job